Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Yamaha's latest adventure in music production. The sick track. In a world where every other piece of tech is trying to be slick and understand it, the sick track is wearing grey and orange like it's trying to win best dressed pop star at an 80s workout video audition. Yamaha in their infinite wisdom decided what the world really needs is another groove box. But this time for the annoying charm of a retro gaming console that's been through a midlife crisis. Let's make it colorful, they said. Because clearly what's been missing in the studio isn't groundbreaking technology, but the option to match your beat to your sneakers. And size? Yamaha looked at the compact pocket size OPZ and said, Let's make ours bigger, because if there's anything musician need, it's more portative, but not too portative groove boxes. But hey, it's not about looks, right? The sick track comes packed with features like a 7-track drum machine that promises complexity, but probably delivers as much frustration as trying to understand why your Wi-Fi only works in that one corner of your living room. And with Yamaha's takes on theme design, you are just a few button presses away from questioning all your life choices that led you to make the most straight, simplest beat in the universe. And let's not forget the price. At $400 it's more affordable than the OPZ, which is like saying you found a more economical way to dive into a money pit and spend a little bit less money. But hey, feathers are working here. Microcork 2! The original Microcork, a synth so iconic it probably has its own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and here comes its sequel. The Microcork 2! Ready to take on the legacy with the confidence of high school Taylor Swift band trying to cover Led Zeppelin. Let's be honest, calling the Microcork 2 a stylish update it's like saying you've now upgraded your Nokia 3310 to Nokia 3311 in 2024. It's small, sure, with that solidly built charm. And those mini keys? Ah, a dream for those who have small hands. For a child, maybe? But don't worry if you've got sausage fingers like me. You'll only occasionally miss your mark which is a polite way of saying you'll be playing jazz and this is the reason why no one listens to your music. And here's a kicker, the presets, 8 of them, 8 whole presets. Why overwhelm you with a choice when you can have the minimalism of a barren desert? The synth engine, it's a big update, 8 voices, or oh, 4 in B timbral mode, with both your standard waves and single cycle waveforms and samples. Woo! Revolutionary! Looks over at its $700 price, the Microcork 2 strides into the future and promises to be everything you loved about the original, but also insists on reminding you that nostalgia is expensive. Solar 42! Why make music when you can create soundscapes? The Solar 42, a direct descendant of the massive analog drone synthesizer, the Solar 50, I guess. Let's not gloss over the dual polyvox inspired filter, because nothing says experimental like a filter inspired by a Soviet era synth that probably doubled as a radio transmitter during the Cold War. It's decided to go on a diet, cutting down from 10 voices to 6 drone blocks, slimming down, trimming the fat and still expecting a round of applause for showing up slightly less bloated to the party. Semi-modular patching capability, check. Why settle for a straightforward musical experience when you can have the sonic equivalent of solving a Rubik's cube blindfolded? Two playable oscillators, what a joy! Reinvent the wheel and then pat yourself on the back because you've painted it a different color this time. That new mixing section with an all new stereo signal pass because apparently painting oscillators independently is something to write home about in 2024. Look ma, I can move sounds from left to right. Great, 
Now we are catching up to what musicians have been doing since the invention of stereo. The effects are not internally as a DSP but as a cartridge. When I think about the future of music production, what I really want is to fiddle with physical media like it's 1985. Hey! The Solar 42 is hailed as an impressive evolution of the drone synthesizer. Drone God will be upset. It's only January, it will get worse. Thanks for watching.